Hi everybody, this is Stephen for Mrs. UNC and we're doing a video right now on the Singer Featherweight that we have for sale. It's the 221, a very well-known machine, one of the most, uh, I guess, desired or coveted uh, vintage sewing machines. Um, and a remarkable machine to be so small. Um, sort of, I call it the Swiss watch of vintage sewing machines. Uh, it's very popular. This machine has had a number of uh, service items performed on it. In addition to having uh, the old grease removed and having new grease and new oiling, <clears throat> yeah, we installed a new belt and we inspected the, uh, the brushes on the motor, which are great. We've also put in a new power cord and a new foot controller pedal. So you have a lot of new items here, and of course it does come with the original uh, bobbing case. Uh, and we're going to make, primarily make the video here to show you uh, how she sews. So we'll get started. This is sort of a linen, sort of a light, medium weight linen fabric. And we've got a brand new size 16 uh, organ brand needle installed. And you can hear that little, the little tick-tock is actually the spool that you hear uh, turning there. I've got sort of a medium stitch length, but notice how tight the stitch is. This is one of the things that the featherweight is absolutely famous for. Now I'm sending her in reverse. Let's give it a little more gas here. It's amazing how quiet and stable a featherweight is because they don't weigh much. Obviously, they were designed to be very portable. I'm going to put a very short stitch, short stitch length, so you can see how it does. And I'm just going to pull her out here. And I've got bright red thread. I'm trying to use uh, thread that contrasts, so you can see the uh, stitch. It's sometimes hard to see stitches, either in a photo or a video. Go in reverse again here. We always put new needles in our machines. I know that sounds kind of... Uh, silly or obvious, but it makes a huge difference. Some people, uh, they don't even think to change the needle. Let's go down to a much longer stitch. And you'll see it'll take it to the end of the fabric a lot sooner, obviously. <clears throat> but the quality of the stitch is one of the things this machine is most well known for. It's great for uh, taking with you. Uh, one of the reasons quilters like this machine so much, I believe, is for that reason. So this is two layers of the and I'm going to, we've already got a stitch sample that you have seen in the, uh, in the photos, which I have, which that'll be included, of course. But I'm going to, we're going to fold this over because we want to, want to get an idea. Let me back up a little bit more. I want to give you an idea of, of, you know, the fact that it can sell. This is not uh, industrial by any means. And the featherweights are not machines you would normally use on very heavy fabric like canvas or denim. But again, this is four layers of linen, and it's not a problem. But it's for that fine detail sewing that people do. Quilters do this, um, other sewers do it. That's where this machine really shines. It's really, that's when it's in its element. And uh, we have several attachments. Uh, these are all, of course, short shank feet. Several attachments go with it. They're all listed in, uh, on the auction. Uh, we'll do one more fabric. I'm going to do four layers. This is a this is a, a really nice soft bamboo fabric. Uh, again, a cellulose fabric, like cotton, but it does it almost feels like rayon some ways. So I'm going to fold that over. So I've got four layers, and again, I'm using white. Um, so that you can see the stitches a little more easily. It's not always easy to see. I better grab my thread tails there. Uh, it's not always easy to see stitches when you're looking at photos of, of a sewing machine in action. So I like to find fabric and threads that make it easier for you to see that. Okay. And then we'll do a U-turn here. You can see on the back how beautiful the stitch is, and of course the uh, the bobbin thread is blue. I also try to keep the bobbin and the needle threads different colors so that you can you can compare the two. It's a little less confusing. To